Most of us, most of you, every day you go to work. Yeah, but I don't know many people who would call it fun. Yeah, that's not true for one business in New Hope, though. Todd Lehman has worked more than 20 years building playgrounds. 2006 took it up a notch. Forget just slides and stairs. Nearly anything is now possible at company Create Play. It's that childlike imagination that makes him this week's Minnesotan to meet. A stockpile of tequila while getting around the office on a scooter. I don't want to do anything corporate. I'm, I haven't worn a tie since 2004. Even the conference room at Create Play has pinball machines and a lazy dog. Many employee of the month. Are you kind of Peter Pan? Do you ever want to grow up? No, and I refuse to as well. And why would Tom Lehman want to? His work is bringing smiles to kids' faces around the world. There's, there's hundreds, you know, there's a few hundred. You know, anything from a full-on, you know, uh, themed environment, you know, where we've got a barn and a tractor and uh, hay, hay bales and, you know, where it looks like you've stepped into a farm to a small climbing boulder. There are now non-traditional playgrounds in Guam, Guatemala, Mexico, Canada, Australia, and nearly all 50 states. The one I'm working on is generally my favorite one. Todd grew up in New Hope, where he was always creating. I built forts, I took apart radios and you know clocks and, and built these crazy things. After years at his parents' traditional playground building company, he branched out and helped Woodbury develop a nature-themed park. In 2006, I started with a laptop and my cell phone. He started Create Play. I was trying to come up with a creative name for the company. It actually goes back to, you know, it, way back in AOL days where you could only have seven characters and, you know, Todd L was taken and all of that. Now you'll always find the number eight in each project. It's often the hidden objects that keep grown ups intrigued. Well, you looked at it and pointed and laughed, didn't you? Yeah. Well, that's why. We want them to play side by side with the kids. The studio is located in the same place he grew up, New Hope, which also led to personal gains with Deb. We grew up 12 blocks apart from each other, never knew each other, got set up on a blind date when we were 21. And from there, we've been, uh, been together ever since. 21 years later and three kids, he didn't just want to make cool playgrounds, but accessible ones. You see that smile on their face. And it, it brightens their, their day. I still get goosebumps when I think about it. You know, kids' minds are all the same. You know, they just want to play. They want to be accepted. They want to have fun. There are often seated spaces and hand grips built into each work that aren't obvious. And apply all of the texture coat. Concrete so material is used not only because it can be recycled later. You know, everything we build has to be drunk college kid baseball bat proof. It all has to be safe, meeting very tough regulations, which may make each of these already unbelievable structures straight out of Todd's imagination. And then there will be boulders where there's hand and foot holds on here to again allow the kids to successfully climb up the piece into the platform there or onto the deck right over here. Just that much more impressive. I mean, each one I was like, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Todd calls himself design guy. The structures can cost anywhere from $1,500 to a million bucks. I mean, Ooh, some of these are really sure. impressive. Now, it's not just cities looking to put in parks. A lot of them are adapted schools, hospitals here locally, at both hospitals in Minneapolis and St. Paul. The children's hospitals have his playgrounds. Mm -hmm. They not only use concrete that can be recycled, but also all the paint is water-based so that they try to keep it environmentally friendly, too. And he's constantly thinking about all those things, how to make it just the best mm -hmm. for not only kids, but the environment and families. Man, it sure makes me feel like I got ripped off with my wood and splintered <laughs> playground from when I was a yeah, kid. Rusty jungle gym. Yeah. Does he have a favorite? Of any, I mean, his designs are just so artistically amazing. So I mean. what I thought was really cool is, you know, you see like the barns and, and the giant Canadian goose, and I kept thinking, oh, it's gotta be one of these. He loves, there's one in Pittsburgh that every single piece of it is for an adaptive it's adaptive for children with disabilities. So even one of the slides, they thought about kids who are deaf that have cochlear implants. They can't use a traditional piece of metal. So even there's even a different slide for uh -huh. that aspect of it. And it's built to look like the Pittsburgh um, Park, the baseball the park. Baseball. Mm. So it's just, it, and each piece of it they took and they did just a smaller scale model of it. So when uh -huh. you walk in, it looks just like that baseball field. Cool. Yeah. Very neat.